Hello everybody, Manny Richard here in the shop. So I made a little trip this weekend and I went to my 35 year class reunion, uh, college reunion I should say, up in the Bay Area. So that was pretty fun, about 20 uh, members from the class were able to show up, you know, with wives and, and uh, significant others. So that was very fun, some of them I haven't seen in 35 years. So that's kind of interesting uh, how people change and you don't even recognize them anymore. So, but you know, if any of you guys watch this video and uh, I just want to say thanks for coming. Uh, it was a fun, fun thing for me to see, uh, to see the people and uh, see everybody. It was, uh, it was quite a pleasure. I, I, I've seen so many people, so few people from my class over the years that, um, some things like this are really pretty fun. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, there was only uh, 90 people in my college class. Uh, uh, 40, 40 were engineers and 60 were uh, deck side. So anyway, so thanks again to uh, all those folks uh, for showing up and everything. And uh, uh, the fellow put it on was Steve Krita, uh, my best man at my wedding and uh, a classmate of mine. So, also, so that was on Friday evening, and then uh, Saturday, uh, I had gotten in contact with Tom Lipton. This was up in the San Francisco Bay Area, so uh, I was just staying up the road uh, from where Tom is. So, I, Saturday, I got together with Tom at his shop to get the nickel tour, not the penny tour, but the nickel tour, and... Uh, Chuck Bromarito uh, of Outside Screwball, and uh, Chuck Van Natta, that's uh, Knoll Top Farms, his channel. He's just kind of getting going, so pay a visit to his. Uh, we all got together at the shop and had a little fun. So stay tuned to Tom's video to show the show the show the fun there, or show show he'll he'll probably put it up today. So anyway, so. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you the uh, tool bits. Uh, I have quite a few questions on the tool bits and the grind <laughs> I used to cut that gear for the land slave. Uh, I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to show you the uh, tool bit grind I did for the to broach that uh, keyway and that one other one gear. The one gear was a pretty tough material. It, it wasn't real easy to... To uh, cut, uh, you know, it was steel. It wasn't cast or iron. It, it was, it was fairly tough stuff. So I'll show you that. I'm gonna get it up really close here. Try to show you. Let's see if it's against my shirt. Let's see. Hope that stays in focus. Uh, there you go. I'm watching the monitor here at the same time. Uh, so there's there's the grind. Now. There's nothing sophisticated about this, really. I ground this on just a six-inch bench grinder, and I was just very careful. I used, I was wearing magnifiers and all of that, and I was just fitting it to the old gear, to a couple of the the good teeth. Part of the tooth on the old gear was not even used. It had, it wasn't even worn. Uh, wear at the end because uh, it didn't have full engagement. So I had some pretty good profile there to work with, and I just. Ground and ground, and uh, took me about probably 30 minutes to get it. And that's the uh, it's flat here on top, no no relief, and uh, just the relief on the front rake and the sides, and that profile. It was really pretty simple. That's a five sixteenths uh, high speed seal tool bit. Here's the here's the one I use for broaching. Now there's now I, there was a six millimeter keyway. So I had to grind it to a width of six millimeters, but I, it was only really six millimeters on this bottom edge. So here, this is this is uh, the bottom down here. So this bottom width was six millimeters. I gave it a little bit of side relief, well, just a couple degrees, hardly anything, uh, up the side, so it's narrower at the top. Uh, I don't, I, you might not even be able to see uh, a little bit. You can see it, hardly anything. You can see I, I made a little chip groove across the front. So this is a nice sharp honed edge. 
right here, and then a little back rake. And it formed a nice, a real nice little curled, uh, curled chip. Just a real nice little curled chip, and it pops out the other end. And uh, I've done this one, this type of grain, uh, several times uh, doing keyways over the years, and it seems to work actually pretty good. Uh, I probably could have, in this one here, I might have too much uh, face uh, part of the tooth. I could have got a little closer to that edge, would have probably been a little, made a little cut, a little easier. But it did work quite well. So only took me. Probably 10 or 15 minutes to cut that keyway. It wasn't it wasn't too bad. But anyway, this was uh, ground with a on a quarter inch piece of high speed steel. So I'm going to show you. We did a lot of re, we did more remodeling in the shop, and decided to kind of split the shop in two and do a metal shop and a wood shop. So I'm going to swing the camera around and try to show you guys what we did pretty happy how everything kind of came out so there's um, there's the computer desk uh, so I, I have this is a roll around cart here that I have mounted my this cart is a roll around it's an old hospital cart another one uh, but it has a somebody replaced a long time ago a piece of oak in there so it has a wood top has these slide out table uh, Trays. But I have a vise mounted on here, a my porta band and my little table set up, the six inch grinder. On the end, I have wire wheel and a Scotch Bright wheel on that this end one here. But this is just sitting on the stand. Then I got my sander just kind of sitting there. I can move it around a little bit if I wanted to. And the drill presses did not move at all. We just kind of left it where it was. You can see the board. I just built that today. That's um, a backsplash. Real quick black backsplash there for the lance lathe. Kind of control some of the chips. And then the closing is under the sheet over there under the window. And then as you swing around, you'll see the milling machine. The Logan is uh, over there behind the milling machine. And my, let's see what else can you see there. Uh, that's the bench there. And then all behind me is, as we swing around, all behind me is all the woodworking equipment. Uh, my big table, I'm still working on getting my shaper and table together as one piece. And the runout table is all leveled up. Bandsaw on the side. And my other tool, roll around tool chest runout table for the bandsaw over there. And we'll clean up some more stuff in the back. We're throwing a bunch of stuff away. I'm going to clean that bench up way, let's see, way, way over here. This bench is going to get cleaned up so I can use it. So that's what we're kind of doing. And I think this, this, this plan uh, is going to work out really well. Let's see here. So I showed you a few things. <laughs> so now we're going to have... Now there's going to be a few clips uh, of behind the scenes at Ox Tool, the outtake clips, uh, uh, and it's an uncut version. I mean, it's just the raw footage. I didn't, I didn't edit it. Uh, we got it. We were able to take a few clips uh, while we were doing. We did a little, a little video work at, for with Tom, and uh, had some fun. And uh, I, I had set my uh, iPad up to uh, when we. Just kind of filming the general kind of things going on a little bit, and we got some pretty funny. I, well, they seem to be funny to me at least, but some outtakes type stuff, and I put that in this video uh, for everyone to enjoy. Uh, we had an awful good fun time. Uh, thank you, Tom. Thanks, Chuck and Chuck, old Chuck and young Chuck, uh, for coming down, and it was we had a good time, very good time, very funny. Uh, I. Kind of couldn't stop laughing about things and telling stories. Uh, I don't know, we were there. For, I think we all met at ten o'clock, and we didn't break up till about two o'clock. Uh, we just went nonstop there. It was it was a, it was a hoot. So uh, enjoy the enjoy the outtakes type stuff, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you in a few days. Uh, I'm I'm going to get that uh, second part of that dovetail cutter done. I'm going to just make another one. Uh, because I lost the, vi the video 
just didn't work out for me on that second part. So I'm going to make a whole another one. Uh, and I'm only going to I'm only going to do the video on the second half of the milling part of it. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to probably send that out to uh, somebody else who probably deserves one. Who deserves another tool. So uh, we'll go with that. Thanks again for everybody subscribing. Thanks again for everybody watching. And uh, enjoy the outtakes. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to turn this on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome to Meatloaf 52. Uh, this is one year of Meatloafs. Uh, Maybe a little more. Uh, there might be an extra one in there somewhere. But uh, got some uh, special characters here today in the in the in the shop, and uh, we'll get them in here and introduce them. And uh, they're all familiar faces, so you guys should recognize everybody. Come on in, guys. And uh, we got uh, Chuck Banana from uh, uh, Little Talk Farms. We got. Uh, here, let me scoot over. Come on in, Chuck. We got two. We got two Chucks and a Randy here. So. Uh, you, Outside Screwball and Little Top Farms and Randy Richard in the shop. So uh, we're going to poke around. Uh, we're going to poke around here in the shop and uh, look at some uh, viewer appreciation stuff. We're going to check out some tools. Um, I don't know what else we're going to do, guys. We're going to have some fun. We're, we're going to have some, some fun. We're going to have a little fun. We're going to get some aprons. Uh, a little modeling going on here. Yeah. A little modeling. Right. And then uh, and then these guys are going to do a nude scene. So uh, <laughs> it's all going to be good. So. As long as we're all together. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make fun? Literally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Makeup. 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 <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. Uh oh, stuff for the chicken sketch. Where's the bike? Is it going? How do you tell it's going? Uh, the, it's a oh, little okay. red, right. little. Hey, Merry Christmas. I'm okay, old too. No, okay, it's good. I'm probably older than you are. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do first here is uh, we've been talking about this tool and. Uh, Richard Raunchy uh, sent me some photographs about uh, how this tool is used, so I thought it'd be cool to uh, uh, to kind of demo this. And you can see I've been practicing here a little bit to uh, to get the moves down. So um, we're gonna let Chuck try it. Let me try. Me? Let Chuck. Yeah. A little hot Chuck. Pick, pick, he's a the, he's a the carpenter. Huh? No, I'm not a carpenter. <laughs> okay. I'll give it a shot. All right, so let's get a piece of wire for you here. <laughs> All right. You can try it. What I was noticing about it is the welding on it, I thought it looked like it was homemade. Yeah. Okay, so you bend a loop. So this is a concrete form tool for uh, guys that haven't been following this. And this is kind of an old school way of doing it. So you, you build up your forms and then you have verticals on the outside. And then the idea here is that you, you loop wire uh, maybe through the form or on top. It's probably through the form, uh, it would be my guess, because you need to support it in several elevations, right? right. And then the idea is now uh, we want to tension the wire, right? We want to we want to pull some tension on this to hold those concrete forms together because there's hydrostatic pressure that wants to push them apart. Okay, go ahead, Chuck. So uh, here, I'll hold the wire, okay? Okay. And then you. Uh, I think it was a one-man operation, though. Yeah. There, there's probably. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a woodchuck. Oh, yeah, well. Sorry. You know, two of us make one man. Okay, yeah, so, uh, okay leave, leave a little space. Back up a little bit. Okay. Not like that. Try that. Okay. Close right. down on that. Okay. Now pull back on it a little bit to get right. the initial tension. Now this twist. Okay. And I don't know. We might not be able to. We might not be at a really good angle here to see it. Go ahead and. Uh, okay. Now. now and now I pull a little bit. Pull it. Not too hard. Not too hard. Okay. And then twist some more. Twist some more. Okay, and we give it a little tug. Okay. <laughs> not, not that part of the tug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm turning bright red. Yeah, well, we got some, like, see, I told you they're carrying right And then. I didn't know Beavis and Butthead were here. And then you flip it off and you go. Now, here. You can, you can probably hear that. It's pretty. That's pretty snug. You wouldn't want your finger caught in there. I'll tell you that. No, but I imagine the guys that were using these were probably pretty fast at this too. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so anyway, that's what that tool does. And uh, 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 Rich Ranchi, uh, thanks very much for sending those pictures. And uh, I ran down to the shop and I uh, and I got some wood together and I started playing around with it and, uh, and the thing works great. So if you see one of those at the flea market, now you know what it is. Grab it. Grab it.